Are you okay? Okay, no. What you see is a classic case of heart attack. May has just lost consciousness. Will he survive? What you do next can make a difference. Raja and Siti are staff of SSC. They wasted no time in giving rescue aid. It took only 12 minutes before advanced medical care arrived. Ming now has a good chance of surviving his heart attack. But what went on during these 12 minutes? emergency. Raja promptly carried out the standard protocol. He first checks for responsiveness. Ming is unconscious. Raja starts CPR. Raja is not going to sit back and wait. In an emergency, the first three minutes is most crucial. Raja knows he must perform rescue aid immediately. So what are the steps to an effective CPR? Turn him on his back and position him on a firm, flat surface. Check for breathing. Tilt the head. Remove objects that obstruct breathing. Watch for signs like a heaving chest or place your ear near the mouth. Do you hear breathing? Pinch nose. Proceed with mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathing. Give two breaths by blowing into mouth. Make sure you have a good seal. If only his stomach is moving, this means air is not entering his lungs. Begin with chest compressions. Trace the lower chest margin to the center. Place your index finger next to it and then the heel of the palm of your other hand. Interlace your fingers and straighten both elbows, locking them into position. Now, perform 30 chest compressions of 4 to 5 centimeter depth within 1 to 2 minutes. For every 30 compressions, perform 2 breaths. This is called a cycle. After 5 cycles, check for signs of life like a normal pulse and if breathing is present. If the casualty regains consciousness, put him in recovery position. Monitor his breathing every few minutes. Raja is the first responder to the emergency. But what about the second rescuer whom he called for? Let's see what steps City took. City quickly called the ambulance. At that time, City was the SSC staff on duty. So she informed her buddy to cover her duties. City then gets the necessary safety equipment and goes to the incident site. Earlier, we explored one scenario. Raja performed CPR and Ming was revived. But there's another scenario. The casualty is unconscious and there is no pulse. This is when City's arrival is all the more crucial. She brought the AED with her. AED stands for Automated External Defibrillator. And it can help Ming establish an effective heart rhythm increasing his chances for survival. Let's see how the AED is operated. Switch it on. Apply electrode pad on bare chest. Press to shock. Everyone is to stand clear when this happens. Continue with CPR. Check for pulse. 
If there is no pulse, continue with CPR as well as AED operation. You will find the AED designed to be user friendly. Equipment is provided to facilitate rescue. Shears to cut through the clothing so that the AED can be applied. Razor for shaving off chest hair and a towel for wiping moisture away. This is especially useful for poolside incidents. The combined use of CPR and AED can be broken down to seven steps. Let's recap. Hello, hello, are you okay? No response. Help, call ambulance 995, get the safety equipment. No breathing. Check pulse. No pulse. One and two and three and four and five and one and two and three and four and ten and one and two and three and four and fifteen and one and two and three and four and twenty and one and two and three and four and twenty one and two and three and four and thirty. Check pulse. Pulse present. Check breathing.